and a bit of pepper. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are making a honey soy fried chicken burger. There's three parts to this burger. There's making the honey soy sauce, making your schnitzel or your panko crumbed fried chicken and there's assembling and cooking the burger. You can skip the honey soy step. You can go and buy it. I don't like buying bottled sauces, but there is a fair few ingredients that go into it. It could be a bit expensive to sort of buy everything and just make it once off. But if you do have these ingredients in your pantry, I strongly suggest you attempt making this uh, sauce. Okay, so first step, we'll make our honey soy sauce. I will put the ingredients and quantities in the description below, but today I'm just gonna make it. It's the sauce that we make all the time, so honey to start with. I've got soy sauce, let's use a light or all-purpose soy sauce. You sort of want to have a little bit more soy sauce than honey. I've got uh, Chinese cooking oil, Shaoxing wine. Got about a tablespoon of sesame oil. And then apple cider vinegar. If you haven't got one of these, go out and buy yourself one. It's called a microplaner. I use it all the time for garlic and ginger. And I'll show you the result that you will get out of it. So it's like a nice paste. Instead of using jarred ginger, which I find loses a lot of flavor when it's in a jar, there's nothing like having fresh garlic and fresh ginger. I've got three cloves of garlic going into this. And... Don't be shy on the ginger either. It gives it a really nice kick. By you putting it through here, you don't get that stringy garlic. You just get the actual paste which is nice because when you're eating it, the worst thing is getting those strands of the ginger in your mouth. Everyone thinks it's like hair, but really it's just the ginger. Okay, so I've got about one teaspoon of the ginger. Give that a good mix. And the longer you let this sauce rest, the nicer it will become because the garlic and the ginger Sort of release a lot of flavor over the time. You can make this the day before, you can use this rest, uh, this marinade in anything really, honey soy wings and whatever. And that's it. So you got your honey soy sauce ready. And then moving on to our chicken. So I'm just using a whole breast, cut that tenderloin off. Okay. Sort of flatten it just so it's a bit more consistent. So this side's a lot thinner, this side's a bit thicker. Okay, so that's ready. And then you want to make your flour mixture. So I'm going half a cup of uh, plain flour and about half a cup of corn flour. Corn flour gives it a bit more of a crunch, so I always use corn flour and plain flour together for these sorts of recipes. And add a pinch of salt to this, maybe two pinches, and then give that a mix that through. Okay, now we need to make an egg wash. To our egg wash, we're just gonna add a little bit of salt and a bit of pepper. A bit of pepper. Give that a whisk. Okay, so that is now ready. So for your crumbing station, you always go your flour first, your egg wash, and then your final crumb at the end. So I'll sort of set it up in that order. 
especially if you're making you know five or ten of these or 20 of them whatever you sort of want to work in a system okay so just a little trick uh, a lot of the time people have problems with their batter actually sticking to the chicken so what you can do is if your chicken is excessively moist sometimes the chicken comes out a bit sloppy you can just give your chicken a little pat dry this is pretty good this one it's not too wet okay so then we go straight into the flour shake that off the flour is basically just uh, allows the egg to stick to the chicken otherwise the egg will run straight off and you won't be able to put your breadcrumbs in there okay go egg wash make sure it's fully coated let it drip out a bit and today i'm using a panko crumb you can use whatever you like you can use normal breadcrumbs, panko crumb, make your own crumbs. But I'm going to use panko. Sort of push your chicken into the crumbs. There you go. I've set my fryer at 160, and usually something of this thickness will cook probably about four to four and a half minutes, but you'll see it in the color. Okay, so we can get our chicken on. This takes about four and a half minutes to cook. And in the meantime, we'll go back and make the rest of our burger. Always place your chicken or your meat away from you so it doesn't smash back onto you. Common mistake everyone makes. Not everyone, but you know. Some people. So 160 for about four minutes, four and a half minutes. Once the chicken floats, usually about 30 seconds after it floats, maybe 40 seconds, gives you a good indication that the chicken is cooked. Or you can look at the color as well once it floats. Okay, we don't need these. But in the meantime, we can start preparing the rest of our burger. Okay, let's grill our bun first. So, we're going to add cucumber to this. So I like to peel the first layer off. Even after you wash it, you always get a bit of dirt and you know, funny business on the outside layer of these onions. You can even just give it a little slice. So look at our bread, it's got a nice colour on it. Let's have a look at our chicken, yeah, it's nice and golden. Still needs a, probably another minute and a half or so. Hasn't started floating yet, so. So you can see here, you got that nice golden colour. So you can see the thinner parts are floating because that's ready, but the thicker parts are still dipping. Probably needs a bit more. When you take this out of the fryer, avoid putting it on a paper towel because it uh, sort of makes the chicken go soggy on the bottom, traps in the heat. If you find that the tips of them are too thin and the tips are burning, you can always just hover them and let the thicker part continue cooking, like that. Or if you need to dip it again, whatever. All right, so I forgot to add a little bit of corn flour to the mixture. That will thicken up the sauce so it sticks to the um, chicken a bit better. So about a tablespoon of corn flour and whisk that through. Okay, so we added the corn, corn flour. Now we'll just sort of heat it up and cook up sauce so it thickens up just so it sticks to your chicken okay so you guys can prepare this beforehand so you don't need it hot when you're using it just thicken it up cook it back and get it ready you can see the honey coming through now see how much color is changing and then the cornstarch is actually thickening up a lot you just got to be careful not to burn this because it has a very high sugar content there you go see how it's thickened up just be careful, a lot of the recipes you see online is for honey soy is the recipe for it to go into the oven. So 
this cooking process of the sauce happens in the oven whereas we're not going to cook our sauce it's going to go straight out onto the chicken and into our burger so we had to cook this sauce and sort of thicken it up okay so that's ready to go i'm just going to let that sit and drain off a little bit all right let's go do this okay you can go straight into your sauce Uh, with our ingredients, just go straight over with the onions. Go with the shallots, these are fried shallots. Go with some sesame seeds, cucumbers. Cucumbers really neutralize that sweet soy sauce flavor. And then we have our mayonnaise. Gonna grill the top of the bread a little bit. 